So, uh, Auburn won last night. Yeah, guys, anyway, if you didn't see, Auburn won last night. Very big amount. Very huge game for the Auburn Tigers. They won 61-58. to It was not a very high-scoring game, but it did come down to the wire, which, honestly, it really shouldn't have. But, anyway, the Tigers get their first SEC Conference win of the 2022 season. So, War Eagle, enjoy the rest of the season. It is going to be a tough rest of the way through. The SEC has been really tough this year. That's my intro for the video. Let's get started with the video. Anyway, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. This w video will be pre-recorded in case Ben cannot get his video out for his picks for week se 17, I believe it is, of the National Football League while it's almost playoff time. So hopefully Ben gets his video out. If he doesn't, you guys are seeing this video instead. So I'm going to predict all of the Week 17 NFL games. It is kind of late because it, Thursday Night Football starts in a few hours. But you should get to see this video regardless. So let's hop right into the video. Obviously Thursday Night Football being the Dallas Cowboys and the Tennessee Titans. Derrick Henry is not playing. He is listed as doubtful. But Dallas has a lot of people playing. They've got Michael Parsons. That Cowboys defense is going to show up in Nashville. I have a buddy of mine who's going to the game. He is going. That Cowboys defense will show up in Nashville tonight. I also believe Dak will be on point with C.D. Lamb. Tony Pollard will be running the ball. Zeke won't be getting very many carries. So expect the Cowboys to win this game. One, I'll say 30 to 20, win by 10. I think it won't. Won't be high scoring, but it won't be low scoring either. It'll be somewhere in the mixture. 30 to 10 Cowboys. Up next is the first Sunday game, and it is on New Year's Day. The first New Year's Day game is Atlanta hosting Arizona. This is gonna be a boring game to watch. I don't even know. I guess I'll pick the Falcons just because of they're the bet they look like the better team here. Desmond Ritter starting to get into things with Atlanta. So, I obviously expect a future from Atlanta. Atlanta has a future with Desmond Ritter. I think Atlanta will win this game. Not very going to be a boring game. I'll say 13 to 10 is going to be the final score. Falcons win 13 to 10. And up next is the Carolina Panthers going into Tampa Bay. We need this win. We have to get this win to win the NFC South. This is a huge game for us. We have to stop Tom Brady. We have to stop Tampa Bay's offense. We have to contaminate Tom Brady. If we do all of those things, I believe we will win this game. I do think Carolina will win this game, by the way. 27-24 to 24 will be the final score. High-scoring game from Carolina. We have to run the ball against this Tampa Bay defense that looks defeated. They're good. Their only really good player is Vita Vea on defense. If we can contaminate him, we will, are going to win this game and win the NFC South. We will be NFC South champs heading into the playoffs. Probably hosting these Cowboys as well. That's going to be a hard team for me to choose. I think that Dallas will win that game if we, they play them, but I will be rooting for the Carolina Panthers. Up next, moving on to the third Sunday game, is the Detroit Lions hosting the Chicago Bears. I believe Detroit's going to bounce back after that loss to Carolina this week. Uh, Chicago doesn't really have anything to play for. Maybe they'll spoil Detroit's hopes of getting into the playoffs. But Detroit wins this week, which will set up a very interesting matchup next week, which we'll talk about coming in a few picks in the Green Bay area as well. But I think Detroit, Detroit's offense is too hard to stop, and Detroit will win this game. They will get a bounce-back win against Chicago, the Chicago Bears and Detroit. We'll say 24-21. Up next, we have the Washington Commanders hosting the Cleveland Browns. I honestly think the Cleveland Browns could win this game, even though they're eliminated from, from playoff contention. I think the Cleveland Browns with Deshaun Watson can beat the Washington Commanders. The Commanders are starting Carson Wentz, by the way. So, they don't really have their starting quarterback in there, so, and they're playing for a playoff spot. I do expect Washington to give it everything. But I, can, I see Cleveland beating this one. It could be one of the very interesting games, but I got Washington winning this game. I will say... 20-13, to 13, Washington wins this game. And up next, we have the Kansas City Chiefs hosting the loser Broncos. Chiefs 55 nothing. I don't think any the Broncos aren't doing anything this week. The Broncos aren't. Chiefs 55 nothing. enough said. And moving on, we have the New York Giants hosting the Colts. The Colts, the Colts are just bad offensively. 
They blew the biggest lead in NFL history to the Minnesota Vikings. Their defense is terrible. New York with that Saquon, with Saquon Barkley kid. I mean, he is just amazing to watch. The whole Our whole division will get into the playoffs, don't worry. But New York's going to pound the Colts in the chest, I believe, 33-0, somewhere around those lines, maybe 30-7 to or something, something like that. But I fully expect the New York Giants to win this game against the Indianapolis Colts, clinching their playoff berth this week. Up next, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars going into the Houston Texans. All right, there you go. That that's, should be an easy. The Jacksonville Jaguars are playing for a playoff berth. They need to beat the Houston Texans. That's all that there is to say about that. They will beat the Houston Texans. I don't know, though. The Titans did lose to the Texans, but I don't think that it's going to happen th two weeks in a row. Jags win 24-17. to 17. Up next, we have the New England Patriots hosting the Miami Dolphins. This is uh, this is one of the very more intriguing games of the week as well, going in with Carolina and Tampa Bay as well. I think New England is going to... They, their defense always plays well at home for whatever reason. Uh, obviously, Miami not playing with Tua as well could be very competitive, but I do expect Miami to win. They have a playoff berth on the line, but... Just just keep this in mind that if Miami does lose, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs as well. Tua may not come back for the playoffs as well, so my, the, Miami may just say, we're done with this season, let's move it for next season, get ready for the start of the new year for the NFL draft, get some weapons for Tua, stuff like that. But I do expect Miami to win this game 20-23. to Moving on, we got the Philadelphia Eagles hosting the New Orleans Saints. Jalen Hurts is coming back, and I think that's all everybody needs to know. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to win this game against the Saints. I do not see them winning this game. The Saints will be eliminated from playoff contention this week. Let's get it. And moving on to the first afternoon, late afternoon game, we have the Seattle Seahawks hosting the New York Jets. This is another intriguing matchup of the week. So far, three intriguing matchups this week. Seattle hosting New York. I honestly think the Jets are going to win this game. Obviously, Seattle's been on their downfall, but Geno Smith, I will expect to have a very good game. I just don't see the Seattle Seahawks winning this game. Their defense isn't that great, but the New York Jets find a way to win this game. 24-21, to that's your final score. Up next, we have the Raiders hosting the 49ers. Another one of those games where I don't even need to say the outcome, but I'll say it anyway. 49ers, 43 to nothing. The, the, the Raiders are starting your boy Jared Stidham out of Auburn, Ward Eagle, by the way. But I don't see Jared Stidham doing anything with that offense. Obviously, next year, though, a lot of players from that offense will be gone, including the likes of Josh Jacobs, the likes of Devontae Adams, and including Derek Carr. I think they're going to build around Jared Stidham for the future. Maybe he'll be the, the new guy in town. We don't know. But the 49ers' defense is way too good to stop Jared Stidham and the Raiders' offense. I think the Niners are going to win this game 33-0. Up next, we have the LA the Rams versus the Chargers. Now, this is going to be an intriguing matchup because Baker's been on a hot streak. Obviously, they're not in playoff contention. The Chargers just clinched a playoff spot. But I do expect the Chargers to come out and win this game. It's basically a neutral site game because they both play at the same stadium. But... I expect the Chargers to win this game, obviously because of the Rams are just that not that great this year. Not a good Super Bowl contending champion, obviously, but the Chargers win 21 to 14. We'll, we'll say 20, 21 to 7 is the final score of that game. Up next, we have the Minnesota Vikings heading into Green Bay. I don't understand how Aaron Rodgers does what he does, but Aaron Rodgers is somehow going to find a way to win this game. I believe the Rod. The Packers are going to win this game somehow, some way, and that then next week that will set up the matchup for the, to get into the playoffs. It will be the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions, which I, I really hope they flex to prime time. I would love to see it on prime time. I, the Packers are going to find a way to win 24-21 somehow. And lastly, on Sunday night, the last Sunday game of Sunday night football is the Baltimore Ravens hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers. I believe that the Steelers are somehow going to find a way to win this game if it's not Lamar Jackson. 
playing. If Lamar's playing, the Raider, the Ravens are going to win this game. But I just think the Steelers are going to win this game if he isn't playing. It's a toss-up between either teams. It's always a fun game with this rivalry as well. That's why it's on Sunday Night Football. Very, a very intriguing matchup. Ravens trying to lock up a, the NFC North and hopefully a potential three seed as well. And moving on to Monday Night Football, we have the Cincinnati Bengals hosting the Buffalo Bills. This is going to be a great absolute game. The game of the week. It is on ABC 8.30 Eastern Time. And I just, I can't wait to watch this game. This is going to be a very intriguing game. Sorry, I keep looking at my computer. I think the, the Cincinnati Bengals are going to win this game. It's at the Cincinnati Bengals' place. Obviously, Joe Burrow has been on fire lately. So have the Bills. But this is going to be a very high-scoring game as well. I think it will be 42-35. to 35. On Monday Night Football, one of the interesting more games on Monday Night Football as well this past season. Bengals win 42-35 in a thrilling game. It's going to be a great game to watch on Monday Night Football. So if you guys want to tune in to Monday Night Football, go ahead and do so. It's going to be an amazing game. Anyway, that is going to wrap up my predictions for Sunday for Week 17 of the NFL season. Next week will be our regular season finale predictions. We will have two videos coming out next week for Thursday. My predictions and Ben's predictions since it is the last week of the regular season. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share. And be sure to turn on notifications as well. We try to post daily. Obviously this is an emergency video. So... If you guys would like to subscribe, please do. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of my picks in the comments down below. Do you agree or disagree? And I think this is the last Thursday night football game of the year as well. Let me know on that in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. And late as gators.